problems that we're facing now are too complicated for a single human to figure out all by themselves. And so the entity that's going to solve the problem is going to be a combination of humans and machines working together to make a kind of integrated intelligence. And one way of framing the core research question is how can people and computers be connected so that collectively they act more intelligently than any person, group, or computer has ever done before? At the highest level, uh, you, would, you could imagine a truly intelligent computer that would understand situations, would be able to, uh, to figure out explanations in a, of, of events and be more inventive with respect to scenarios, overcome the limits of imagination and creativity. So there is really no limit to what computers ultimately could do. We have big problems to deal with as a country, cost overruns, rampant inefficiency, and now we have tools that can really help us deal with that, where I think 10 years ago we didn't. We had relatively primitive tools. So I'm excited for the next decade. I think that we'll be much better doctors, we'll hopefully get much better health care as patients, and some of these tools are going to help us get there. If I look forward 30 years, the way we will use computation will be very much the way we're having a conversation today. Uh, the barriers of dialogue will be erased. Uh, we will have systems, we'll have computers that understand our shortfalls and provide insight, uh, much like a tutor or a mentor would do or a good parent does. I think when people imagine machines and people working together, sometimes it's a little frightening idea of having a computer help you think. But I imagine it's being kind of like a violin that if you look at a violinist and a violin together, it's really the violin that's making the noise. But the violin and the violinist are able to do something much more than either of them could do separately. And I think the future is gonna be humans and machines working together like that, like the violinist and the violin.